bacteria is the most underrated impurity in cooling water system. If we are maintaining each and every parameter in our cooling water system, but bacteria is high, we will have to face the music because that high bacteria can sabotage our whole treatment program. Bacteria is the only component in cooling water system which can lead to corrosion, scaling, microbiological growth and deposition. So, we will have to understand the importance of bacteria in our cooling water system. As we all know, bacteria is a unicellular, means it contains only one cell. But in this case, less is more strategy work. One bacteria is divided into two cells through a process called binary fission. Unfortunately, bacteria is asexual. It means it doesn't require any life partner to grow. It divides into two cells through a process called binary fission. So two new cells obtained through that process further divides into two other cells. The time required for the division of the cell depends upon the type of the bacteria. For example, E. coli bacteria cells divides into two cells within 20 minutes. So within six hours, that one bacteria will be converted into 2,50,000 bacteria cells, which is a huge number. So let's suppose if we are not maintaining a bacterial growth in our system, that 2,50,000 bacteria will further divide into other bacterial cells and ultimately will increase bacterial growth in our cooling water system. Despite of this, good news is that bacteria also dies like humans. In its lag phase, bacteria growth is very slow because it spends a lot of time in adopting new environment. However, in second phase, it grows exponentially. In third phase, bacteria growth rate and death rate becomes equal. And in last stage, bacteria death rate increases than bacteria growth rate. Bacteria is very tricky impurity in water because it exists everywhere because it grows exponentially, because it can cause not only single bacterial growth related issue, but can also cause corrosion, scaling, microbiological growth and deposition. So while maintaining our water treatment chemistry, we must be very careful about the bacterial growth in our cooling water system, in our chilled water system and in our RO water system. Our cooling water system contains more bacteria than we imagine. Only 2% bacteria in water has been discovered and in near future we will came to know about more and more bacteria in our water. In water chemistry we divide bacteria into two types. Number one is called aerobic bacteria. These are the types of the bacteria which require oxygen to growth. Without oxygen, these bacteria can't survive. They consume CO2 and nitrites for their respiratory metabolism. Nitrifying bacteria, denitrifying bacteria and iron bacteria are few examples of aerobic bacteria. These bacteria can be tested through TVC depth slides easily. The second type of the bacteria are anaerobic bacteria. These bacteria can't survive with oxygen. So usually these bacteria grow under the deposit. We can see these bacteria in heat exchangers where mud deposits are present. Sulfate resistant bacteria is famous anaerobic bacteria. We obtain sulfur in our all fossil fuels because of sulfate reducing bacteria. Bacteria can contribute a lot in our cooling water system. If these bacteria are not controlled properly, 
we may face a lot of the problems. However, good news is that different types of bacteria survive under different conditions. It's common that bacterial growth is very low at low temperature and at extreme high temperature. Similarly, all type of bacterial growth is very low at extreme high pH and at extreme low pH. Thanks for watching.